This is the atrium which covers three floors of the ship and it's sort of a central hub of the ship. Uh, all the ship, all the shops are off, off the atrium and uh, there's always something interesting going on. This is the Meridian Restaurant, which is the Freedom Dining Restaurant. Just getting it ready for tonight's evening meal. This is Manhattan, which is a sort of a, a bar where they do shows as well. Uh, come and have a drink and watch a show, singer, comedian, that sort of thing. There's tables, lots of tables and stage at the front there. It's quite a nice venue. This is uh, Malabar where they do shows and uh, at the moment they're having a, a talk about iPads and tablets, how to use your iPad and things uh, but normally they do shows at night, comedians, singers, that sort of thing and uh, of course you can get a drink so uh, it's quite nice, it's Malabar on the Azura This is a Sindhu bar and restaurant where you can come have a drink and uh, have a Indian type meal. Uh, it just cost extra on the Azura. Hello. Hello there. I think there's a cover charge of uh, 15 pound that's Sindhu on the Azura very nice too I'm going to try this one later on in the cruise in the open kitchens.
Mrs. Broders, which is a sort of English style pub. Uh, they do a sort of bingo and quizzes in here, and they also also show uh, football matches, sport, that sort of thing. On the big screens, yeah, you get all your beer here and wine or whatever you're drinking in an evening. So, like I say, this is the nearest thing to a sort of English pub. And adjacent to Brodie's is the casino with uh, sort of casino type games, blackjack, roulette, that sort of thing. Not many people playing at the moment because it's uh, we're in the afternoon at the minute, but uh, this is where they all come in the evening and try the look on the roulette tables and on the uh, gaming machines. It's adjacent to Brodie's, so you can still get a drink and everything. children's little children's pool there and uh, also lots of things for the kids to do and there uh, kids are being entertained in there and also in there is a view of the terrace pool right at the back of a ship. Uh, you can come out here and have your breakfast if you want. It leads straight out from the buffet dining room so you can come and have your breakfast out here. We've done that several times, it's lovely. This is the outdoor area of the 17 restaurant where uh, if the weather's nice you can have your meal outside under a little canopy there. This restaurant uh, costs extra on top of your cruise, normal cruise food. And you pay a supplement for this. I think it's about £30, something like that. But it's supposed to be really nice.
this is deck 17. This is a sort of sun deck, quiet area. No music sort of going off, so lots of sunbeds as you can see and a nice nice view of the sea there behind the screens. Deck 17 on the Azura. Up above there, deck 18, get you higher up. Same thing, lots of sunbeds, sunbathing, that sort of thing. This is the retreat on the Azura. You have to pay extra for this. Uh, bit, the sunbeds are a bit plusher. There's some nice seats in there with a bit of shade. So all that area you have to pay extra for, about £200 per person, I think. It's called the retreat. And below it is the Oasis Pool. Which is open to everybody. Well, adults only actually. So adults only in that one. That's called the Oasis Pool. And above it is a retreat. 